So once again we are back with the new class with the new video but of the same chapter that is chapter number 7 the great fountain. In this video I am going to explain the lines of the story in a proper way. Okay. So let's come to the chapter. All of you open your book and see the lines which I am reading and read along with me. So the story is about a boy who helped earth. How he helped? That we will learn. Once upon a time, a boy was walking through a wood and he thought he could hear a sad cry as though someone was crying while singing. So what happened to this boy when he was walking through a wood? Wood means a jungle or a forest. So when he was walking through that forest, he thought he could hear a small, uh, a sad cry. cry. Cries are generally sad. So he heard a sad cry as if someone was crying. Following the sound, he came to a big, round, mysterious grey fountain. So what he did? He followed the sound. Followed the sound means he went along with the sound and as he was walking, he just came across a big, round, mysterious. What is the meaning of mysterious? Mysterious means which is not, uh, which cannot be explained properly. So when he was following that sound, he heard a mysterious grey fountain. Now, this fountain was grey in colour. This is what the name of the story is. The sad sobbing seemed to be coming from the fountain pool. Okay, so the sobbing sound, sobbing means the noisy, noisy sound of this crying, crying noisily. So, when he was walking through the grave fountain, he saw that this crying sound was coming from the fountain pool. But, do you think the fountain pool uh, would be crying? It's actually, we don't see that, but this happened with this boy. He saw that the fountain pool was crying. And why was it crying? Let's just learn that. The boy swept aside the pool's dirty surface water and saw a group of grey fish swimming in a slow circle through the pond. So, what this boy did? The boy, he swept aside the pool's surface, dirty surface water. The surface of that pool, it was full of dirty water water. So, what he did? He swept aside. He took aside that dirty water and he saw that a group of grey fish they were swimming in a slow circle. Okay? They were taking a round uh, of circle inside that pond. With each lap lap means jump. Okay? So, with each lap it is given in your word buddy also. Lap means round taken around a circular area. So, when they were taking the round, they were jumping also. So, what with each lap they made, their little voices because the fish were very small. So, the voice also which was coming out, that was also very little. The little voices opened and came out the sobbing sound. Sobbing, as we have already discussed, it means crying noisily. So, with each lap they were making, the sound of the sobbing came out. Amused by this, amused means very surprised. By this, the boy tried to catch one of these incredible talking fish. Now, as he saw that the fish could talk, so he tried, this boy tried to catch out this amazing fish. But when he stuck his arm into the water, it turned grey right up to the elbow. So as he uh, put his hand inside that water to catch the fish out of that pond, his elbow, his hand till his elbow, it became grey colour. As this happened, a huge sadness entered into him and he suddenly understood how sorrowful the fish were feeling. So, as this happened to him, he uh, 
uh, all of a sudden he became very sad the reason was not known but the boy became sad and he understood that how sorrowful the fish was feeling so as he started feeling sad he could understand the pain of the fish also who was inside that pond and he could understand why they were crying he felt just like the earth on his arm dirty and contaminated okay he felt that it was like the earth it was like the earth why because our earth is full of dirt and waste because of the human activities so he felt just like the earth on his arm he felt very dirty and he also felt contaminated contaminated means which is dirtied by adding harmful things we, we can also say it as polluted he started feeling the pain of earth how the earth would be feeling because of the practices of human behavior what we do we don't care about the earth and we throw the waste here and there without understanding how this earth would be feeling how the pain must be felt by the earth although they don't say us anything but we must understand the pain and this is what is happening with the boy he started feeling the pain of the earth okay let's continue he quickly pulled out pulled his arm out of the water and ran from that place so as soon as he saw that his hand turned gray in color he pulled out his arm of the water and he started running from that place but the arm stayed gray and the boy continued feeling sad but it was of no help although he went from that place he ran away from that place but his color of elbow did not change it remained gray he tried so many times to cheer himself up but nothing worked and because of this gray color this boy he was feeling very sad so he tried uh, many ways to cheer him up to make him happy but nothing worked at all that was until he realized that if he were to make the earth happy then the happiness would be in turn transmitted back to him through the earth on his arm so what he realized after a few days that to make himself to make the boy himself happy he must make the earth happy because he was feeling the pain of the earth so he realized that in order to make himself happy he must make the earth happy and how this earth would be happy this earth would be uh, will be, be uh, will be happy only when the human activities the countryside the people who are present on the earth they keep the earth they keep the surroundings they keep the atmosphere neat and clean so this boy realized the importance of earth keeping clean because he wanted to make the earth happy in order to remain happy okay from then on he set up set about looking after the countryside so from that day he made a habit of looking after the countryside countryside is an area outside cities and towns mostly the villages are called as the countryside he cared for the plants he did what he could to keep the water from being polluted and he encouraged others to do so to do the same so from that day he realized the importance of keeping the earth clean and he started taking care of the people of the countryside the plants there and he also uh, asked other people of that village to make the to make the earth happy to not to disturb the environment he was so successful that his hand started to recover its normal color when the gray had disappeared completely he started feeling happy again so as he started taking care of the earth he realized that his hand's color also started improving the grayish color which was present on his hand that started disappearing and one day finally all the grayishness of that hand was completely removed and his hand became neat and 
clean. And as his hand became neat and clean, he started feeling happy and normal again. And he decided to go and visit the fountain. So as he was completely normal, he uh, decided to go and visit the fountain once more. When he was still some way from the fountain, he could hear the fish singing happy hymns and he, hear, and he heard them joyfully splashing in the crystal clear waters of the magic fountain. Okay, And when this boy, he, when he reached the fountain, he saw that the fishes, all the fishes who were once crying out of some pain, they were also happy and they were happily splashing into the crystal clear water. Crystal clear means completely clear and bright. It was plain to see that the earth had returned to its original happiness and the boy felt even happier at the sight. So this boy, he was very happy to see that this earth has returned to its original happiness. Original happiness means it has also become satisfied and happy as the boy was feeling now and it was happy to see that every living creatures around the fountain they were also happily enjoying and the boy he was more happier to see because it was he who uh, helped the earth to retain its value to retain its beauty and this beauty was given to others also okay so this is how we must uh, Understand the importance of keeping our earth neat and clean so that every creatures who are the gift of God, they should be made happy. Okay. Now, I hope the chapter is clear to everyone. You all are advised to go through the chapter once more and still if you find any problem, you can discuss about it in the Google Meet. So now, as we continue after explanation, we need to go through the difficult words and you need to copy it down in your classwork copy. So let's go through the difficult words one by one. First is walking. Second, mysterious. Third, sobbing. Fourth is fountain. Fifth is amused. Sixth is incredible. Seventh, entered. 8th is contaminated, 9th is transmitted, transmitted word means transferred from one to other, 10th is hymns and 11th is crystal, crystal means very clear. So these are the difficult words which you need to copy down in your classwork and as homework you need to repeat it once. So your homework is to repeat difficult words. So, hoping to meet you soon in the new video, in the new class. Till then, take care. Have a good day.